to my channel. My name is Aisha if you're new here and today I thought I would film a little bit of a chit chat get ready with me um, and just kind of do my makeup. I'm actually getting ready to film another video and I thought I would kill two birds with one stone as they say and film myself actually doing my makeup as well um, because I wanted to chat with you guys about everything going on in my life. Obviously my last video that I posted, the life update, you guys know what has been going on in my life and first and foremost, I first and foremost, I just have to say a huge thank you to you guys for showing so much love and support. Like I was so overwhelmed this entire week just from how much love and support I've been getting from you guys. It literally like I teared up. I was bawling my eyes out, not even just tearing up, reading all of your guys' comment and just seeing how supportive this community that I've built online is towards me. It's just like, it's actually <laughs> insane. Um, and you know, my family and my cousins and my friends, like everyone has been reading the comments. I've been literally reading every single comment. Um, and it's just, it's truly amazing. It's beautiful to see really. So thank you guys from literally the bottom of my heart. Like you guys are my second family and seeing just how much love and support and dua, I feel like that is why I can come back on YouTube and just feel so strong. And I don't know, I'm rambling. I just, I love you guys so much and I feel all of your love and I feel all of the prayers that you guys have been sending my way. So thank you guys. But anyways. <laughs> It's a little bit of a heavy intro. I am going to be doing my makeup and um, just kind of getting back to work. I mean, I've been off for a while and I'm really excited to just continue on with work and everything. And actually in this video, I'm going to be sharing some of my all-time favorite complexion products from Giorgio Armani. Um, and they're, they've actually kindly sponsored uh, this video. So I'm going to be sharing their Luminous Silk range, including their primer foundation and concealer. I've shared this many times on my channel before, so when they reached out and wanted to partner with me, I was like, yes, 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 let's do it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be sharing kind of like how I get my flawless complexion and just kind of get camera ready um, anytime I'm filming a video and hopefully you guys enjoy it. I think Sara and I, Sara's still here, my mom as well. I think we're gonna go and try to catch the sunset in Malibu um, and just enjoy a nice evening. So the first thing that I'm gonna do actually is go in with primer. This is what the Giorgio Armani Hydrating Primer looks like. Actually, what's the actual name? The Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. Um, and I love any kind of hydrating primer. That's kind of my preferred method when I am going for a fully like flawless makeup look. This is the first time that I've used this. Um, I actually just picked it up at Sephora a couple days ago, so I'm interested to see. It kind of has a really nice soft consistency. Like I feel like it's gonna be really smoothing. Ooh, that feels nice. Oh my god. It's definitely hydrating, but it's kind of like some hydrating primers literally just feel like a moisturizer, but this actually feels like it's going to hold my makeup in place and really give me that glow from within while also like ensuring that my makeup doesn't melt off. I think I first started using the foundation last year, probably around this time. And it was like, you know, I've heard so many people always talking about it. Um, specifically like Desi Perkins always used to talk about the Luminous Silk Foundation and it just took me so long to try it. One day I just went to Sephora and I purchased it and I literally never put it down. Like it is so, so good. My usual shade that I go for is 11, um, but I actually went to Sephora not too long ago and I picked up the shade 13.25, which is a little bit deeper. Um, so I'm gonna just see if 11 is a little bit too light. I might mix a little bit of this in. This is gonna be more of like my summer shade. Just gonna give it a little bit of a shake and I'm gonna go in with shade 11. Oh, okay, I thought it was almost done. Um, I feel like shade 11 is actually gonna be pretty good, but let me show you guys 13.25 as well, just so you can kind of see the difference. So that's 13.25 and that's 11. I actually feel like this one might be good. Let's see, let's do a little swatch. Because my skin color fluctuates so much, especially now living in LA. Like it's always summer, so I feel like I always have a little bit of a tan. This looks like it might be a smidge too light. And that looks like it'll be a smidge too dark, so I think I might actually just mix the two. Okay, so I'm just gonna dot this around the skin. And my preferred method with this foundation is always a beauty blender, so I just have a damp beauty blender here and I'm gonna blend it in. Another reason why I love this foundation so much is because it's super lightweight. 
Like it gives you flawless coverage, but it doesn't feel like heavy or anything. And I just love the radiance that it leaves on your skin. Like even after you powder and everything, it just leaves such a healthy looking glow on the skin. I always call it like my red carpet foundation. Like even though you girl ain't going to any red carpets, <laughs> especially not anytime soon. Um, what are all these crumbs? It just like literally makes your skin look like you're ready for a red carpet. It's just so beautiful. So that is what the coverage looks like. You can see it doesn't look like too overdone. I feel like my skin, you can still kind of like see my birthmark and everything showing through, but it just created a gorgeous flawless finish. You could build this up to like a super full coverage, but this is kind of the coverage that I like. So I'm gonna move on to the concealer and um, a couple, actually I think earlier on in the summer or something, I actually shared my thoughts on this concealer already and I love it. So I'm gonna use it today. And I have two shades over here in the shade 10 and also 8.75. So I'm gonna start off with 10 first, which is a little bit closer to my skin tone. Well, not quite, it's actually pretty highlighting. <laughs> and apply this it's always really nice when a brand comes out with a primer foundation concealer all in the same range because then you know everything will like work really well together just because i'm actually filming today and i want a little bit more you know full glam i'm going to put a little bit of what shade is this again 8.75 just in this area to give a little bit more brightness I just went onto the Sephora website just to kind of like read up what they actually say about this concealer. Um, and I just saw that they won an Allure Best of Beauty 2020 award for this concealer. So that's pretty dope. Um, but basically they say it's a multiple purpose concealer and it highlights and conceals while providing up to 24 hours of hydration and comfort with medium buildable coverage and a flawless radiant finish. Does that not sound like everything you need? I think it does. So. Let's blend this out. I let it sit just a little bit to like kind of build up the coverage, but it blends out so, so beautifully. I also, while I kind of blend this out, I do just want to let you guys know that I, alhamdulillah, I am doing very well. Um, I know I was very emotional in that video. I think it's just like any time that I have to bring it up with people that I like really care about, and I mean, you know, my second family, my YouTube family, I get really emotional talking about it and it was a really hard video for me to film so as much as i tried to keep it together you know my emotions just you know came over me i guess i know a lot of you guys are worried about just like my mental health and everything and i do want to say i mean as i mentioned in that video i am a woman of faith and i really truly believe that everything does happen for a reason and there is um wisdom in everything that allah wills and everything that you know happens to you in life so i've just been holding on to that faith and i i truly think that has is what has brought me so much more peace and and serenity in my heart so i just want you not to worry too much about that you know i am going to you're going to see me being a lot more consistent on youtube and and everything like that so i don't want you guys to think that you know, I'm just kind of putting on a show for you right now as I'm trying to like, you know, get my coin and continue on making content for you guys. I truly am, alhamdulillah, in a really good headspace. I have my family here to support me. My mom's gonna be here with me for um, a little over a month. So I'm really thankful for that. And as much as I do appreciate, you know, you guys always checking up on me and everything, like I want you guys to know that I will be okay. I'm a strong girl. <laughs> just blending out this concealer, you can see how easily that blended out. And it's just, ugh, this trio is just unmatched. It seriously is unmatched. If I had to say like my top five foundations or something, or like top 10, Armani Luminous Silk would 1000% be within that top. It's just like something I can always go to and always depend on. I don't get smile lines when I wear this. Like. It lasts through humidity, it lasts through the winter dryness, like it just, it's just such a good product. So if you guys still haven't tried it, I know it's a little bit up there in price, but it lasts a long time because you don't really need that many pumps and it's always going to look good. So I would recommend giving it a try. It is available at Sephora and I mean the proof is in the pudding. Look how good that looks. 
And I also never use any filters, by the way, on my videos, so this is the real deal. So beautiful. And it's like, it gives me a radiant finish, but it's not like too dewy or like too radiant, you know? It's just like the perfect amount of radiance, so... Um, yeah, I will have the Armani Beauty products listed and linked down below, including the primer, foundation, and also the concealer. So check out those links, and thank you again to Armani Beauty for partnering with me in this video. And yeah, I'm going to move on to the rest of my makeup. But while I do, I kind of just want to like chat a little bit more of like a life update because I feel like obviously there's going to be a lot of changes in my life um the first one being i am going to be moving very soon and um not for like any other reason other than the fact that my lease is up and um so yeah you guys will be seeing where i'm moving i am going to keep it a little bit of a surprise yeah you guys will be seeing moving vlogs soon and just it's going to be good content i'm going to get back to what i love to do and I feel like, you know, I wasn't myself this entire summer and it's just gonna be really nice to focus on growing and healing and just becoming a better version of myself in all aspects. I mean, I'm only 25 years old. Um, and, you know, that may be young, that may be old to some people, but for me, I still have a whole life to live and that's what like a lot of people, I feel like, I mean, a lot of people have been reminding me of, but I needed to remind myself of that because I thought initially this would be like the end like not the end of my life but i was being very dramatic about all of it essentially is what i'm trying to say but i'm just excited for the next chapter in my life whatever that holds for me and um, i'm really thankful that i have all of you guys here to kind of witness all of it and just kind of be there with me um, it's kind of weird honestly i genuinely thought that i would probably lose followers after sharing this huge life update with you guys because i just assumed i don't know people would be really disappointed or think that you know the whole couple thing was like for a show or for whatever like for my own personal gain and anyone who does that and messes with their life for that reason i don't know how people could do that but it was all real and you know there's gonna be a lot of changes but i'm excited for that like i'm excited to see what this whole new chapter of my life is gonna become so yeah um i'm gonna put on a little bit more concealer actually because i did just put on like a liquid blush and i feel like I lost a bit of the highlight, so I'm actually going to go straight in with 8.75, which is the lighter shade in the Armani Beauty Concealer. But yeah, back to the whole moving thing. Um, my lease is up at the end of November, so that's when I'll be moving, um, kind of like mid-November, so there's going to be tons of moving vlogs, and I mean, you guys know how excited I get about like home decor and all, that, all of that stuff, so I'm really excited to have that and like have that in the fall time so like all my home decor can be really cute and fall themed and it's just gonna be a good time and um i also have some plans to travel back home eventually and not that like you know there's just a lot of things that i have to figure out before i actually go home but i definitely plan to i know that was kind of like a huge question for a lot of you guys so i will be seeing my hometown of toronto very soon unfortunately it will be in the winter which I absolutely hate the winter, so <laughs> that's not going to be very fun for me, but um, that's okay, I will manage. I'm just going in with a little bit of some yellow powder, yellow translucent powder. I don't really bake anymore, I kind of just like set my under eyes, and it really just like gives a really nice brightened effect to it. I've been getting probably the most DMs I've ever gotten in my entire life on Instagram, um, and I've been trying, I read majority of them, I just honestly don't have time to be responding to all of them. Um, but, you know, I welcome all of your duets and everything, and I say I'm mean to all of them on my own time, but I wish I honestly could respond to all of you guys, I just feel like it would be a full-time job, essentially, just responding to your comments. But just know that whatever you're sending, I know a lot of you guys are like, you're probably not gonna see this, but, and then you continue. Um, I usually do see them. I try to read them at least, at the very least. And if I don't respond, don't think that like, you know, I'm just trying to ignore you. I just truly don't have the time to respond to all of them at this point in my life, especially with my family being here and everything. And I'm, I've been doing a lot of reading on like self-help and self-love and all of that kind of stuff. And um, what I keep seeing over and over again is your anxiety is lying to you. And that is like the most real <laughs> like thing I've ever heard because anxiety and just like anxiousness and all of that kind of stuff really does 
trick your mind into believing things that are not true um and i feel like that's why i felt so like i felt sick to my stomach when i first pressed publish on that video and then the second that i started seeing the responses from all of you and just like the stories you guys were sharing like a lot of you guys were sharing your own personal um you know battles with um, divorce and separation and just heartbreak in general and it like has truly been helping me so much like obviously I knew <laughs> this isn't an isolated incident people divorce and break up all the time um, it's just something you never really expect going into a marriage um, but just hearing all of your guys' stories and stuff like I can just honestly say it's really been helping my whole healing process and um, as scary it is as it is to go through this like literally in front of the whole world um i've never felt so connected to you guys like literally in my entire career online like i've truly never felt so connected to you guys and it just made me realize like how strong this community that we've built over the past almost 10 years is and <sighs> i've just been saying alhamdulillah so much more and i'm just so grateful like every single day so i'm getting emotional talking about it because <sighs> I just get emotional when I <laughs> when, when I talk about these types of things. I'm testing out this new bronzer. Um, I'll share it with you guys in a later video, but it is so pigmented and so dark. I think I actually, let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in this video, but a couple years ago I did like a, I think top five or top 10 bronzers for deeper skin. And I was looking back in that video and like literally all of them just don't even work anymore almost laughable so i'm thinking of doing another one so i've been buying a lot of different bronzers and like giving them a try so let me know if that's a video you guys would be interested in because i feel like a lot of brands have been jumping on the bronzer kick lately and like finally realizing that black girls want and love bronzer just as much as non-black girls so it's really great being able to like experiment with so many more different products and everything so let me know if you guys would like to see a video on that i'm trying to experiment with a lot more content the video that i'm actually filming today is going to be like my best and worst uh designer purchases which i think is going to be really interesting to film and like upload i'm not a huge designer person like i don't buy designer all the time but i i've, I've accumulated a cute little a cute little collection so i feel like that video will be really interesting so stay tuned for that and i just want to do like more videos like that like actual sit down videos and not just like focus on vlogging because you know i feel like a couple years ago like i would vlog but majority of my content would be this type of stuff like get ready with me's and stuff like that and i kind of like lost sight of that for a while so I want to get back into that so let me know what video guys what videos you guys would be interested in i feel like maybe even more fashion content the new space that i'm moving into is just like the layout's gonna be so much better and i feel like it's gonna be so stunning for like food content and like fashion content and all that kind of stuff and i'm just so excited for it and i can't wait for you guys to see it um but let me know please like i'm actually i want your guys's opinion please comment down below and let me know um what type of videos you guys would like to see from me coming up because i filmed my first video for the for the first time um after my life update uh, i think a couple days ago it was like a makeup video you guys will see very soon it's like a um first impressions on a new makeup brand um and it just felt so good to film like i thought that i would be really anxious and just not myself while filming but turning on this camera is just like it's almost like a it's therapy for me like it's honestly really fun and I'm, I'm getting back into my work and everything like that and i don't want you guys to think that i'm just kind of like ignoring everything that's happening in my life this is just like an escape for me and i feel like it's an escape for a lot of you watching my channel from whatever you're going through so um i'm excited just to get back into being super consistent and you know i've been ramping up my instagram content lately and you guys have been enjoying that so i'm just excited i'm just you know I'm feeling good and I'm sure I will have bad days. I'm not going to feel bad for feeling good, you know? I just kind of want to roll the emotions, feel how I'm feeling in the moment and right now I'm feeling good, I'm feeling excited to film this video and that's all that matters. So I finished majority of my face, um, like I said, keeping it very simple. Um, and I actually have these two lip products from Giorgio Armani as well. This is the Lip Maestro Intense Velvet Color. I don't know if this is a gloss or a matte color. I guess we'll see, but this is the one in 102. 
and then I have the shade 525 which is a little bit more on like the mauve side I'm sure you guys as soon as you saw this probably knew I was gonna pick it but let's put this on my lips are really dry I don't know if I'm supposed to put on lip on first but oh well Ooh, okay so this is like a liquid lipstick it's like moussey okay I love that color that is so pretty really beautiful monochromatic peachy moment going on but that is my makeup I'm gonna do a little bit of some setting spray and I am all ready to film my video so I don't know if I'm gonna continue this video I don't know where this um, accent is coming from it's ho horrible <laughs> Um, I don't know if I'm gonna continue this and just do a little bit of a vlog, but if I do then you can continue watching But um, as I mentioned, I will link all of the Armani Beauty products down below and the luminous silk line The proof is in the pudding y'all like my face looks beat and just so flawless and like still naturally radiant Like I'm just I'm so obsessed with this entire line So I'm really happy that I got to work with them for this video since I was already a fan, but I am gonna go ahead and film my second video for today and Then I will show you guys a little Mal Malibu sunset uh, with Sada and everything a little bit later. So thank you guys for watching So a little bit of a fail <laughs> I thought we were gonna go see the sunset, but um, as we were driving closer and closer to Malibu, it almost looked- oh, I have Sada here, by the way. <laughs> it almost looked like, like, everything was on fire. Like, there was insane smoke. The sun got completely blocked out. It ended up being- Let's see to the route. Okay. <laughs> My maps is just like, where the F are you, girl? Okay, alright, 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 alright. Um... But it ended up being just like a giant cloud, like literally a giant cloud. We were just driving through and it made everything so dark and eerie, so we couldn't even see the sunset. <laughs> okay, we're just kind of... This yeah. looks really pretty though. Yeah, but anyways, we were driving through the canyons and I did a photo shoot here last year. Um, we're at Malibu Creek State Park and it's so stunning. I had to bring Sada here just so she could see it herself because it's like sunset time right now too so it just looks so so beautiful don't worry i'll stop talking in a sec so you can film um but yeah this place is like so so pretty that just sounds so I don't creepy know, I'm really <laughs> creepy music i know but um yeah it is just like so stunning here so we're just enjoying a little bit i'm probably gonna end the video here because honestly it's pretty anti how do you say it? anticlimactic 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 but the face is still looking beat what do you think of my face today isn't it like i love it this is so Armani. yeah Luminous Armani silk. everything the primer concealer foundation I like, I yeah like. it looks so stunning but i'm gonna end the video here guys we're gonna enjoy <laughs> i know we're getting really like, creeped out <laughs> Out here. <laughs> There's like coyotes and stuff here too, so you kind of have to be careful. Not right now, but like, yeah. How they... do you know? No, let's get out of here. I don't feel safe. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I don't feel safe. Listen, Sada. I can't wear sandals. Sada, you're my... fine. You're fine, I promise. Make our presence known. Oh, actually? What? No, let's get that out of here now. <laughs> I, I, I'm not even kidding. No. Either, either that's a deer or a coyote. <laughs> no, no, it's deer. It's deer. Yeah, they run too. They don't run towards you. Okay, I'm gonna end this vlog before we get killed, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. What if there are bears? There's no bears in what the is desert. That? What is that? What is that? I know that that's either a deer or a coyote. I'm not really sure. Y'all, I don't really know for. <laughs> Sada, this is not a. <laughs> Look, there's another person. Where? Right there. Okay, so there's animals here. Um, it's either a coyote or a deer. I'm guessing a deer though, but before we die, I'm gonna end this vlog. So I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Sada's just not, not about this. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys, bye.